Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to <coughs> Crash Landing. Excuse me, I'll be coughing a little bit. I hope I don't mind. Um, been sick with a cough for a couple weeks. Um, so yeah, it has been um, troublesome to talk <laughs> as I cough up a, a lung here and there. Um, I will try to mute it if I have any lung coughs. But So I want to kind of tell you what I got going on. Uh, one of the things I did is I added um, an energetic infuser to the energy system over there so that what I also did, um, let's see, I've got my, this is my travel pack here. And uh, so I've got a leadstone jet pack with the jet pack pieces that I got. We got these thrusters and we had um, these leadstone capacitors laying around so uh, we went ahead with that and then I've got this all set up for um, if I travel anywhere um, okay so that is that um, so we're continuing on with a diner and what I want to do um, I'm not sure how much I'll get done today um, I'll definitely have to take a couple breaks to um, finish building stuff. But as you can see, I finally got the uh, trap door set up over here. <laughs> and then I've got a chest, and this is going to be where all the stuff goes. So the I'm going to put the harvester there, and then all the other stuff is going to go over there. So we've got kind of a cash register here. There's the tip jar. And... Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. So when I access the tip jar, it adds like a redstone signal. That's interesting. You can use that for like a, an activator or something for a trap or whatnot. Um, yeah, so I've got there. So I've already started making stuff here. Well, kind of. <laughs> um, so as far as... So there's our counter, so we come down here, um, too bad I couldn't make a flat one to where it actually changed, but that'll work. So here's our cellar, and I made it the size of all of our stuff, and these are again lower half slabs, so nothing will spawn down here, and I can leave it dark to add that ambiance of it being um, a cellar and whatnot. So um, got a lot of interesting stuff planned. Um, as you can see out here, I moved the gate around a bit um, of the fence. So you can walk in and out over here. Um, so I'm trying to remember to hit the mute button before I let out a big cough. Um, so a chronotyper is going to go in there. All my um, animals are going to go in here. The babies are going to end up going over here. The problem is I need another chronotyper to move the babies or the the grown ones from over here into a place that's going to um, process them uh, with a what am I going to use um, I think I'm just going to use a grinder because I want to get like the meat and the pork and um, I'll have a chickens, and I'll tell you what I'm doing with the chickens here in a minute. But um, the thing with, um, I don't have any of them set up, so I can't really show you. But, um, so the feeder works off of, um, or the breeder is what it's going to be. Feeder, breeder, same time, same basic uh, principle. Um, uh, one up and one down, or no, uh, one down and two up. So it'll, it'll breed a five by five by four area one lower than the thing so if I put it down uh, two blocks it will cover this whole area here so I can put it underground and it's not um, it's not up here as you saw before I had this big structure back here to um, manage the that was going to be where I put all the machines were, and I was like, wait a minute, I can put that underground and not have to look at it. It makes it look a lot nicer. Um, the other thing, I came up with an idea for a chicken coop. So um, we're going to go ahead and build that. I think it's going to be pretty cool. 
Um, so let's see here. First thing I want, um, we're going to start with um, that guy there. Uh, let's see here. We're going to need pillars. Um, we're probably going to need some stuff. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, you know what? I didn't make any. I'm running out of iron, too. I need to take this out of the way. Um, I'm getting low on iron. Mainly because um, I know I've got a bit of iron here, but um, oh wait, where's my aluminum? Is that aluminum tin? Aluminum. Okay. Um, I only need like fifteen. So I just need three hoppers. And what it's gonna be is I can put chickens in there. And oh, I need. Do I have wood on me? I have wood on me. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll do those. There we go. All right. So let's see here. Um, if you're from California, you hear all the complaining about not giving chickens a place to um, move around. So we've kind of dealt with that. Um, so I'm going to put these guys here. Uh, one here. Hey! No touching! <laughs> no touchy. Okay, and then... Did I want to go one up with it? I don't remember. Yeah, I did actually. That's right, okay. Okay, yeah, so that's gonna go like that. And I'm gonna put these guys here. And the nice thing is I can walk behind this and it's not a huge deal. And then, um, so with that guy, these guys are going to go here. Dang it, knock it off! Quit picking on me. <laughs> Why is everybody, oh, I can just get up here, okay. Um, there we go. So we're going to go here there and then um let's see we need these guys here i think these will be pretty good as far as there and then at, what <laughs> don't make me come out there Shooting at me. Um, okay, let's see here. I think we're. Uh, I'll have to go back up there one more time. Major Tom. Okay. There. There. There and I am. How am I out? Oh, you know what? Did I no? How am I out? Jeez, oh, 
Mount by like one. Oh well. <sighs> Fix it in a minute. Um, so this is going to go there, 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 and there, and then I need to get up there. Because <laughs> I, I was a smart man, and I thought this through. Uh, let's put you right there. Uh, we're going to put you there and we'll put you over here get you out of the way okay so there's my chicken coop more or less um, I need to get some eggs to apply some chickens and so what that's going to do is um, I'm able to um, peckish or anything So now I'll be able to collect eggs. And, oh wait, let me get. Um, let's do one of those. Do we have? Oh gosh, I need to. Let's see. I need, 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 need one of these and one of these. Okay. one of those okay so that should be good um, so hopefully oh, there's one two Woo oh jeez Dang it. Three. Oh, well, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> there. Quit your belly aching. Oh, did that get... Oh, come on. Where'd you end up? You ended up up there? Nope, nope. <laughs> Get my axe back. Okay, so let's put some eggs in there. Let's lock that. And let's see. I may have... Um, do I have a lasso in here? I do not. Lasso made by... I can make one of those. Um, oops, dang it, I hate it when that happens. Not really. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, let's see, can I push these guys in a little bit? Sometimes you can. They're <laughs> running around like crazy. Well, so there's my chicken coop. Let's get rid of this guy. What do you guys think? Let me know. We got like little square things over there you can't really see the hoppers that much down below but um, as the chickens mature and start dropping their lovely little eggs we'll have a spot to collect the eggs here um, I'll need to up that because a thousand eggs you know that's just not nearly enough <laughs> uh, the other thing I'm gonna be able to do is I'll run a um, inventory cable over to this underneath this block here and I'll be able to grab the eggs whenever I want to make stuff with eggs um, the other thing I need to do is I will probably throw some range chickens in here maybe have like four uh, chickens in here that um, I use for making raw chicken and they'll go from the um, the breeding area to the growing area to the slaughtering area <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Okay, guys, so there's that. Um, I need to get the other pieces to it together, and I will be... All right, guys, we're back. And I know I say that all the time. But I don't know. Force of habit, I guess. It's been a few hours. 
Um, so what I want to do is now, um, so I went and got um, all these guys, and what I'm going to end up doing is um, I need a way to get the eggs to start off the spawn eggs. And in order to start off, we got to make, um, we gotta, first we got to make a chicken. And then once we do the chicken, we can do the rest of these. And there's like, one of these is going to be a cow and a pig are going to be the two that we want. Uh, so what I'm going to do, um, let's see, let's put it, um, I'm not sure if this is going to work. So let's take the QDS, we're going to put the QDS right here. Let us select this quest and add it to the QDS. And then what I want to do is I want to put the portable tank on top. And wrench it so it's inputting. I'm going to take a hopper and put the hopper on the side and we want to put the egg in there. Okay, so we should have the egg. Egg's done. Okay, so then now if I grab this bucket and you're empty and you've got there. Okay. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll work for right now. And then, all right, so then we got the chicken. <clears throat> so now we need a pig. We need some rotten flesh. And we just happen to have rotten flesh and some gold nuggets, so I think we're good there. Actually, we'll need two. And so I need to do that, and then cow. Leather. I have plenty of leather. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, doing that 40 times isn't going to be desirable. <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to have to figure that out. <laughs> I might actually want to automate it. Because I'll have to do it 80 times for the the cow. And then for the pig. Yeah, for the cow and the pig, I'll have to do it 80 times total. And the rotten flesh and the gold nuggets. I mean, those are obviously easy, but if I want two pigs and two cows... I'm gonna have issues. So for the chicken, you know what? You're just gonna run around, have fun. <laughs> okay, so setting this stuff up. So we're on the middle here. I want to put um, this harvester here. I'll put this guy right here. And then he should be facing out. He's currently not powered. I have a tin. Um, so what I can do for right now is put you right here. Okay, fine. Um, I'll put that on the left, I think. Are you full now? Yeah, you're full. Okay, cool. Um, we need you open. Uh, put you here so we can toss the uh, planter right there. And you're not powered either. I'll have to power you all. I want to power them all. I want to use the Ender IO stuff to power it all. Um, I need a thing of water and I need to grab the tin
it's an upgrade. Bucket of water. And um, let's see here. Strip. I think that's what I need right there. Strip. And there. Okay. And look, we can go through the side over here. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, so I need to go here. Um, so I can put the water here and then the glowstone panel there. And then I can pick that up and pick you up. Pick you up. Now we need to F7 over here and over there. Okay, so let's put one of you right there and the other one right there. Problem almost solved. So we'll stick you in the corner there. Not very conspicuous. Hey, we've gotten th three eggs so far. Hey, get to work. <laughs> so that filled it up, I think. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll have to get that going with the Ender IO stuff. <coughs> now let's go down here. Oh, wait. Uh, up here. So I need to put one, so let's, oh, I didn't do that guy yet. Um, we need chronotypers. <coughs> I think they go this way. Moving babies, okay. I think that's right. Um, well, I guess I could look, yeah. Okay, so that's right. So you see it hits a 5x5. Five five. <clears throat> and this guy right now is hitting... So this guy's hitting the 3x3 three three right there. And the planter... Oh, I need another one for the planter as well. Oh, turn him around. Um, okay. So now you're hitting the whole thing. That has to be on the level. So what I'll have to do... What's going on over here? I don't have a planter over here, do I? Well, that's weird. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, so the chronotyper is out there correctly. So then what I want to do is with this chronotyper, I want to put it right. Um, so we're going to take that out because we're going to want a um, some power going in there. And then so let's stick you right there, I think. No, I think I need you. Right there. And so, what I'm hoping that does, let's go back upstairs. Oh, let's just go like that. There, problem solved. <laughs> so, I'm hoping that does is. Yeah, so now you can see this guy is, is being affected by that chronotyper. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to have an effect on it because what I'll need to do is I'm concerned that when it pulls the adults through they'll take a hit of damage which might not be a huge deal so it might be okay and um, so let's go back down there so the next thing I want to do is let's see do I have um, I have a breeder So 
So the breeder, so we put the breeder down. He is a one up, one down also. So what I plan to do, um, I think what I might do, yeah, I think I'm gonna put it on this side. So I think I put him right there. And then if I go upstairs, should be able to see. Okay, let's move him. Let's face him the other way. So yeah, you can see that it'll, oh wow. Oh, I need to move it over by one. Okay, it's off by one. Okay, and that's why you test it. I don't have any food on me. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna starve to death. No. Um. Okay. So breeder, right there. Yep. Okay. So then what we'll do is down here. Um. Let's see, I've got these guys so what's going to happen is um, let's see let's put you there and you there okay so two three four two four five two three four Excuse me. Hold on a sec. Sorry about that. Oh. Um, do I have my... Uh, I was hoping I had it in here as my... Uh... Um, that was everything already? Oh, yeah, I didn't grab off. Okay. But, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, um, the, all the animals are going to end up in here, and then, actually, I could probably do it right here, is put a harvester right here to harvest the animals. And then what I can do is I can run a line from Steve's factory manager over here to manage this inventory so we have wheat and potatoes I think potatoes are pigs they might still be carrots I don't know they change and everything um, that'll manage that inventory and then uh, with the grinder down here um, I'll be able to pull all the items back once they kill the animals so so that's my plan. That's what I'm going to get working on. Um, I need lots of stuff to get it going. I need lots, a lot more iron. So um, I'm at a iron deficiency. I need to take some. Is it iodine pills? I don't know. Oh hey, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> um, you're going, how are you? You're not super. Okay. You're doing okay. You're filling up. Okay, cool. I wanted to get rid of some of the this uh, dust here to make sure it's, you know, I got a ton of dust. Okay, so I'm going to get things going and see how much time we got left, and I'll be back, and we'll continue on with some stuff. All right, be right back. All right, we are back, and let me show you what I got going on. So I've got all the, um, I haven't set up the planner yet. Uh, the planner's in there, but I just don't have all the formulas in. I wanted to do that with you guys so I can show you um, how that's done, um, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but these guys, so I've got three back here. We've got strawberries, grapes, and blackberries. We've got peanut right here. We've got rice here which I might change out to um, wheat. 
so I wouldn't have to bake the uh, bake the bread. If I did use bread, I'd still have to use toast, so I'd have to cook it. So I don't know. I'll have to figure out what I want to do with that. Um, potatoes and um, soybean and some onions. And so I've got two options to go from here. Uh, one of the options is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, which I can pretty much get that going right now. Um, well, they're pretty much called jelly sandwiches, but um, so all I need is peanuts. But for the sandwiches, I wouldn't need toast. I would just need bread. So wheat's a better option for that. Uh, and then blackberry jelly, which I've got sugar and, and blackberries. So the different sandwiches, the wheat would be a better option. But what I'm working towards is a hearty breakfast, which <coughs> is, you can see the, hold on a sec. Pack up along there. Hopefully, leave you out of that. Um, so yeah, you see the the food and saturation on that one is what I want to get to, and that's eggs. So I've got eggs going. Um, potato cakes with onions, and I need butter, which I can use tofu. Um, Heavy cream is that from milk. I was thinking of doing that, but that's a little more annoying. <laughs> um, that's why I was going to do the cows and then salt from water, which I do have a lot of salt, so that would be easy to do. Um, and then toast is a pain. <laughs> and then pork chops, that's why I'm get, um, getting pigs. And then any kind of juice, which... Um, the blackberry or strawberry juice, I think blackberry is the only one that I can grow and actually raspberries. Oh, strawberry juice works. Okay, cool. So I can do different juices for that. Uh, so I've got a lot of options here to get to get through. Um, I'm gonna put some. I am gonna put some more stuff here. Um, uh, it looks like I might need a, um, a furnace, so um, I'm going to do that. Now, I upped the gamma so you guys can see. Um, so under here, that's, that's my planter. It's all set up. So these four crops, uh, they don't go away when harvested from the harvester. Uh, these do and then as you see I've got saplings along with um, sugarcane so the sugarcane don't get pulled up when they're harvested they're just the top two and then um, so I put oak saplings in the other four corners um, I what I will likely do later is put another type of food there and make a separate tree farm because um, that's going to have to be managed separately and it's got a lot of stuff it needs to do. So uh, for right now, I've got a hardened energy cell. As you can see, I still got a million RF in there. So, um, But once we start going, it'll start using some stuff up. And then down here, I've got um, the breeder and the chronotypers. And um, i got pigs, so I'm not sure... I'm not sure what the pigs are going to use, but let me show you how this is, how I hope this to work. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so I've got my two pigs. And then right now I have just these set to adults. So, and then I've got a lasso to move them around. But, so what's going to happen is these guys are going to breed and then um, the chronotyper is going to kick off. Let me 
I want to put one of these back because I don't want to move them all back at the same time. Um, I might have to move those. Eh, I don't have to, but um, they like to jump around. Okay, so the babies are going to end up over here. And let's change this back to babies. And then, um, so what I'm hoping to happen is the chronotyper down here. Is gonna kick off. This one's moving adults. Okay, so Mr. Piggy here. Did you take damage? Okay, you took a half a heart of damage, but you're gonna get slaughtered anyway, so it don't matter. <laughs> So I'll have to fix it. So that's how that's how that's gonna work. So um, I, I need to make a, another um, grinder here. It's a little expensive, but eh, it's not really expensive. It's just time consuming. I hadn't gotten to that yet. And then uh, as it kills stuff. It's going to move the stuff from the stuff, and then it'll be with the other stuff, and all the stuff will be good. <laughs> um, no, but it, the chest will be accessible from um, this guy here. So uh, for moving stuff into the planter, what you're going to want to do is, so here's my planting. Um... Let's do let's do soybeans. So we've got um, let's do yeah. So we're gonna need a crafter and then an output. Okay, so an input obviously uh, we're gonna wanna do did I do no um, it's gonna be this guy. Oh, you know what? That's what I wanted to do. Um, let's do a container variable. And the reason I want to do this is if I ever move that chest, um, let's make it gold. I'll have to change all of the all of the the things. Am I peckish? Oh, I'm hungry. Um, oh, I've got, there it is. Um, so now I'll only have to fix this variable and everybody else is fixed and we should be good to go. Um, so input's going to be not that gold chest, but this container variable, um, Target doesn't matter. Items, we want um, soybeans. Then we are going to craft soybeans into soybean seed. Excess inventories in your variable. And then output's going to be the planter. And you're going to want to target a specific spot so we're gonna make this one eight because um, it's in the lower right and that's just the way I want to do it um, and then we are going to whitelist soybean seed and we're I want to set the amount to nine and the reason I want to do that is what that's gonna do is it's gonna say um, if all nine of them happen to grow at the same time, they can be immediately planted. So that's the value I usually like to set. Now, if we go down here and look at our planner, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it should end up in here. So let's go ahead and connect everybody up. And 
Let's come back down here. And do I have soybeans? I hope I have soybeans. I have soybeans. Okay, so what did I do wrong? Huh. Oh, you know what? It might be a... Oop, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess it doesn't like the top. You can't input through the top. But because... Yeah, see, I don't know. Let's go there. So make sure you have these disconnected when you're setting them up. Otherwise, you end up... Um, doing a bunch of them well you don't really have to do a I like I like doing an ID range because the reason I like doing an ID range is um, it can put items in there at different spots and if you end up filling up the whole thing with like one, um, one thing, even though you know it's only going to do nine anyway, um, it could put them all over, and it's kind of annoying. So even if I go here, eight, come on, are you kidding me? Kidding me, Smalls, kill me. South. What? Okay, doing this on camera and it doesn't want to work. Okay, well, whatever. I guess we'll take out the ID range and call it bummer. Oh, never mind. Annoying. Just remembered. Okay, these are 0 through 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's try 18. So, forgot about that. Okay, we got that one. No. Uh. Oh, because it's got one here. That's right. So this needs to be 10. Okay, so the things going on, um, these are being recognized as item slots. And for the overall inventory size, it's including this soybean with this stack of soybeans. <coughs> so you need to set it to one higher to, uh, to have a stack of nine. And this is zero through eight. 9, 10, 11, and so forth. So if you want to put stuff in here on a specific spot, there you go. Um, so yeah, we figured that out. And so that's how the you put stuff in a planter. Kind of annoying. I don't know. It's just the way they program it, and it just didn't quite work out. Interestingly, I don't know. Um, you guys like to jump around. Jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up, but jump down. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks again for stopping by. I hope it looks pretty cool um, coming along. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of that off camera. Um, I need to get the breeder going and whatnot. Uh, breeder is going to be pretty much the same thing. I'm going to be putting stuff in, putting uh, 
wheat and whatever to get the pigs going. Um, but yeah, thanks again for stopping by. Don't forget, please subscribe if you're enjoying this series. Let's me know that I need to do more. Uh, let's me know that I'm entertaining, well, at least entertaining enough. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks again for stopping by. Take care and have a good one.